Do you think geometry is hard? I personally think that geometry is really hard, especially the map contest geometry questions, because sometimes when you're trying to solve a question or prove a theorem, you have to draw the parallel line, or maybe the perpendicular line, or maybe from point A to point B, or maybe draw a happy face in order to solve the question, right? Man, how in the world do we know to do that? Well, today, I would like to give you guys two examples to illustrate what I just said, and I will tell you guys more about my feeling about geometry, all right? So for the first one, let's take a look at the triangle right here. And perhaps the most famous fact about the triangle is that the angle sum inside is 180 degrees. So let's put on A, B, and C like so. But how can we prove that though? Well, if you have never done this before, then you might not even know how to start it. But once you see it, you see it. This is almost like looking at a 3D picture, right? Once you see it, you see it. The way to do it is you pick a side, let's say we pick this side, and then we go to the other vertex and just go ahead and draw a parallel line, like so. Well, once we have this parallel line, and this parallel line is achievable by the Euclid's fifth postulate, right? Well, what next? Thanks to this parallel line, we know that this angle it's the same as that angle, so this will be angle measure A as well. And likewise, this angle will be the same as that angle, which is going to be C. And now have a look. Do we know A plus B plus C now? A plus B plus C. We don't know, maybe, but we do know once we look at A plus B plus C because they form a straight line. So we know that has to be 180 degrees. And guess what? We are done thanks to that parallel line. And that's exactly what I was saying. Like how in the world did we know to draw that line, right? Okay, let me take a look at uh, another example. Do you know, uh, is there anything else that has angle measured add up to be 180? Yes, a star. So let's take a look at the star. So let me draw you guys a nice star. Let me put on a star like this, like this. All right. So let's look at the vertex axis right here. So let's say A, B, C, D, and E. We wanted to show that A plus B plus C plus D plus E add up to be 180 degrees as well. But how can we do that? Well, check this out. This time, what you can do is just pick any vertices, like this and that, this and that, but whatever. Let me just go ahead and do this and that, right? And I'm actually going to consider these two angles as well, so I will like to put down little f and little g right here, okay? What's next? Have a look. Well, I'm going to be focusing on this triangle right here. So let me color this in red. And also, we will be looking at this triangle right here. Have a look. You see that this angle must be the same as that angle because they are vertex angles, right? Good. And then what's next though? Well, these two angles must add up to these two angles. Why? Because we know that these two angles are already equal. So we must know that B plus D has to be equal to F plus G. And notice I'm not saying F is equal to B or F is equal to D. We don't know. We're just saying that the sum of these two must be equal to the sum of these two. And notice that I purposely drew this line, this side like this way, because this time we are not drawing a parallel line, right? But anyway, now let's take a look at the original question, which is A plus B plus C plus D plus E. Okay, we know that B plus D is equal to F plus G. Then let me put down a plus C plus E first. I want to write this down first because if I put down F right here, then it looks like B is equal to F, which is not what I want. So let me just put these two at the end like so. Great, excellent. Now, I'm going to consider this triangle. So you just have to be really observative. Look at the picture from like one little part to the big picture and so on and so on. Have a look, why do we care about this triangle? Yeah, we have A plus C plus E, A, C, E, and uh, F and G. That's a triangle. And we did that over there already. And we must know that this right here add up to be 
180 degrees. So, the sum of all these angles at the vertices of the star is also equal to 180 degrees, which is really cool. But again, the question is that, how do we know to connect the vertices right here and then consider these two angles, right? I think geometry requires a lot of experience. <laughs> and you might not see a lot of geometry videos on my channel because I personally do not have that many experience, I have to be honest with you guys. And also, uh, they are hard. Yeah. And one of the ways to get better is that just, of course, practice, practice, practice. And when you are encountering new questions, like you see, we drew this kind of lines. If you have enough experience, then maybe when you are encountering new questions, you'll be like, oh, maybe I will try that. I'll draw the parallel line. Or maybe, oh, I will draw the perpendicular line. Right? So that's the way to go. You can check out my other video where I draw perpendicular lines to prove the law of sine, law of cosine, and things like that over there. Right? And as always, that's it.